All right, we are back with another low quality video. Today I am going to migrate my clear OS server over to a new box. This is what I use as my internet gateway, firewall, intrusion detection, you know, all that good stuff. So I did my first video on it on a Core 2. Since upgraded several times, but I never did a migration video. So now I'm going to migrate over to this i5 6500 machine, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabyte SSD. I'm going to add in network card, real technique. I had lying around. So this is essentially going to be my router. And we are getting fiber this spring. I know in my home lab video I said we were waiting on Starlink, but fiber company has come down my road. So once the ground thaws in the next month or so, we will have fiber internet out here. So I thought I'd set up something with a little bit more horsepower. And even if 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 6 Gen i5 is overkill, I have this lying around. So I figured might as well put it to use. So I got the server moved over to the cabinet underneath the Mac Mini and above our 12 core Xeon. I've also added uh, two and a half gigabit ethernet since my last home lab video. And lots of upgrades to go over out here, but that's for a different video. Um, today we're gonna finish setting this guy up, which I have to go over and do in the workstation since the rest has to be done through a web browser. So there, I was able to log in. So I'm telling it I want to upgrade, slash reinstall, and gateway. So there we go. Forever on my terrible internet, but many of you will do this at home in your home labs.
so I automatically enabled this. So normally if I wouldn't told it to replace my existing server, we'd have to go in here and enable and configure this, but this is already up and running. But intrusion detection and all that other stuff didn't auto install. All right, so it's the next morning and I wanted to come back here. This is editing me coming back and adding to the section. Um, now, initially I went through this and I said, because I went through the server registration and told it I was replacing my existing gateway, it automatically did my um, DHCP server configuration. All right, but if you're watching this video and doing the setup for the first time, if you go back to our IP settings, you will see that we set a static um, roll to this card. Now that's just so I had a fixed IP address so I could remote in and so I could continue to remote in and actually change your settings and whatnot. Um, but if you go into infrastructure that and DHCP server, that's the actual card that is doing our DHCP services. So even though it has its own static IP address, um, it is still handing out IPs. Once you set up everything, whatever IP you set up as your static um, internal LAN, you still have to come in here and, and enable um, your DHCP service on it. Go in and you could change you know, your IP range, your lease time, all that stuff. Right? Anyways, back to the original video. place for one last app I forgot That's about it for this video. My clear OS gateway router firewall is all set up. Now you can go into marketplace and get apps like uh, Plex and set up things like uh, Samba shares and make it an all in one server. But for my purposes, this is all done. You guys have a good one and I'll see you in an updated home lab video very soon.